How's it going everybody? Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video on the Bass King Power Box Shuttle and this is the large size. I picked this up for, uh, for Bass King and as you can see here it has the black and green color scheme which I um, in my opinion is pretty nice. Um, just moving on to some of the features. Uh, you have a power switch here, voltmeter, uh, this is for like a DC um, um, charger, I probably won't use this as I don't have uh, anything I can plug into here but for the USB, um, there's two USBs here you can charge your phone, um, charge your GoPros or whatnot and right now I am using my GoPro Hero 9 um, this is the first video uh, with the Hero 9 so happy to show you guys that uh, one of the things I added on here was a transducer arm this arm is from Markham um, I do have the transducer stopper uh, from Markham, so I decided to just uh, bolt this on. Gonna take out the cover for a little bit. Uh, moving on to the side here, you see I have a tackle box holder. Uh, this one is made specifically for the Gamakatsu um, tackle box. Uh, everything here is just bolted on um, the large um, power box or the or just the regular shuttle uh, it does have bigger arms and wider arms uh, a lot of holes um, you can customize uh, you whatever you want to do with it so on this side I just put a tackle box here as you can see here for the gimbal mount um, it's green and black it looks really nice together um, and there's a few more holes here um, he uh, did a great job on these shuttles. I took my um, regular uh, BK shuttle out uh, with my 28 uh, this past weekend and it um, withstand the cold and it was lightweight and it was just perfect. So moving on to the back here, I got two rod holders uh, also made um, by Bass King and this is the accessory bar here. Uh, I believe this might fit uh, the regular shuttles also, um, the smaller size. Uh, I'm not too sure, but uh, Bass King can clarify that. So I got two rod holders, uh, accessory bar here. Um, this right here is uh, lure lightning. This is just my glow light. So I haven't used this for a while and my other glow cup does not work for the um, this shuttle. So I decided to put um, this one on and it will just bolt on. Um, down here you have I have my amp dot doors this is the 14.8 volt lithium ion this is 19 amp um, from amp outdoors and I used this battery um, on the live scope my buddy's live scope uh, this past weekend and we ran it all day um, after his um, battery died uh, no issues so I would recommend amp outdoors so check them out on the side here I have a transducer um, holder uh, also made by Bass King and these are specifically made for um, different uh, manufacturers uh, he has some for the Markham, the Vaxlar, uh, rather that's the regular reducers or the Pro View reducer and this one here is specifically made for the Helix series uh, transducer. Uh, in the back here uh, I'm not sure if you guys can really see that or not but the red and black um, accessory uh, power accessory over here uh, I might use that uh, later on um, I do want to, add, to attach some lights uh, to the front here I seen um, DTF uh, Fish uh, Wisconsin um, he put a, a light here so I might put a light on here I'm not too sure yet but I do want to use those um, power accessories uh, ports in the back for something um, so one of the things that I did was um, before um, for the power switch, um, it wasn't connected to uh, my hummingbird, so I can turn on my hummingbird uh, whenever. I didn't have to turn on the switch, then turn on my hummingbird. Uh, the switch just powers, powered up um, my accessories down here. But what I did was um, I rewired it. Um, as you can see here, if I turn the switch off, I can. I'm gonna press my uh, Helix Seven uh, power button. It's not gonna turn on. So once I hit that power switch and I press the power button on my Helix 7, give it a few seconds. So if you guys go with the Helix 7, um, just remember that I recommend that you guys um, turn on and off 
on uh, your Helix 7 uh, with the power with the power button on your Helix 7 instead of just turning off the switch um, it might cause a short given that I do have an uh, inline fuse in the back also that came with the shuttle uh, I'm just gonna turn it off here give it a few seconds and there you go it turns off and then I will turn this off um, if you guys have any questions uh, about the shuttle, um, I've had a lot of guys um, message me and um, just um, ask me questions and a lot of times I, I will direct them to um, Bass King if I do not know the answer. So I have um, the power shuttle here. Uh, let me put my cover back on. The BK Large Power Box Shuttle. Um, I did just sell my um, Markham Lithium Shuttle today also, so it, this one replaced the Markham Lithium Shuttle. But with the BK Shuttle, I can do a lot more with the BK Shuttle. And given that there's a little bit of shake, but it's actually pretty sturdy. Um, I'll show you guys um, my other one in a bit here. So yeah, you guys have any questions about the BK Large Power Box Shuttle? Um, just give me a, a message and I will get back to you guys. This is my Vexlar FLX28 and this is on just the regular BK shuttle, uh, nothing fancy about this one. But um, for hole hoppers, um, this is the perfect um, shuttle for you guys. This whole unit here weighs 4.45 pounds, I weighed it yesterday. Um, a Helix 7 uh, with a bigger screen and the bigger battery, uh, it weighed um, I believe it was 8.35 8 pounds. So it's not too bad, uh, I'm gonna use this for hole hopping and the other one for more so when I'm sitting in the pop up on uh, those cold days. Or I can use this one for both also. So as you can see here, this uh, red and black. Um, as I told you earlier, uh, the large has a bigger arm here. This one is a lot skinnier and you're uh, more limited to what you can do. And in the back, I don't have the accessory bar but I do have two rod holders also. And I'm also running an amp outdoors battery right here. This is a 6 amp uh, amp outdoors battery. And I used this uh, this past weekend and uh, it lasted um, over 8 hours and I believe I'm still at 13.1 volts. And then I got uh, my ProView uh, deucer holder over here that I just got also from Bass King uh, which is really nice. Before I was using the Gans Pack um, deucer and uh, I had it on the other side over there but it came off this uh, past weekend when I went fishing so uh, just another thing if you are looking to get the BK shuttle I do recommend uh, the cord organizer I do have it on both my shuttles and you can just wrap your uh, deucer cord here and it's really organized and um, you have Velcro strap here um, just to um, tie off your transducer um, wire so I'm gonna turn this on I'm not sure if I have plugged in right now I do have it plugged in so I'm still at 13.3 volts and that was uh, using it uh, over 8 hours this past weekend. So with the amp outdoor batteries, with the BK shuttle, this is just a perfect setup right here. Um, I will link uh, below uh, Bass King's website where you can find these shuttles. If you have any questions, just uh, give me a message. Uh, I'm always here to help you guys and I'm always here to learn more also so if there's something that I'm not doing right or there's something else that you guys want to see just give me a message and I will get back to you guys uh, as soon as I can thanks for watching